Hello guys, I hope you're all really well. I am currently in a bit of a different setting. I'm away on holiday at the moment, and I was supposed to film this video last week, but in case you can't tell from the way I'm speaking, um, I actually got quite poorly. I ended up with laryngitis, completely lost my voice, and therefore couldn't film all of last week. But it's just about back now, and I wanted to film this video for you all. It is a haul video. Now, I know a lot of you guys who've been watching me over the past year will have noticed a change in my content. I do a lot less hauls now. Um, and that was a conscious decision that I made um, over the past, probably just over a year now. My channel used to be very much focused on shopping and hauls. Um, and I used to shop a lot over the past year or so. Um, I have learned a lot more about the impact that fast fashion has on the environment. And I've made a conscious effort, not only to shop less, but when I do shop, to shop from more sustainable brands um, and also to invest in staple pieces that are going to be in my wardrobe for years and will get worn for years and also pieces that have a really good resale um, life or potential as well. So they're not just going to be uh, for me, but when I'm done with them, maybe I can resell them on Depop, which is I do a lot now as well. So with that in mind, this video is actually sponsored by Farfetch. If you don't know what Farfetch is, it is... An amazing website actually if you're looking for something really specific they put pull together um, designer pieces from many many different sellers um, so basically if you're looking for something that's sold out hard to find a specific size that you want that, that you can't find elsewhere it's really good for finding um, those hard to find pieces um, and they have a huge selection um, of different brands and they also have a specifically uh, sustainable section on their website. So this is called their Positively Conscious section. So if you go onto their website, you can go specifically into that section and see all of their um, sustainable and ethical focused designs that they sell. So it makes it really easy to shop more sustainably if you want to and also to find um, high-end designers that have a sustainable element to them, which there are a few brands in this haul that I actually have previously loved, but I didn't know that they were kind of more sustainable brands. So with that in mind, this is a haul video. Um, I probably, this is definitely the first one this year, I think, if not the first one in about six months. Um, and there are a few really beautiful high-end purchases that I've had my eye on for a long time, as long with some um, real staples I'm really excited to add to my wardrobe. I do also have a discount code for Farfetch if you want to use it It's um, Fleur FF10 for 10% off um, So starting off with clothing I've got a couple of pieces that actually aren't from Farfetch But they do sell on Farfetch that I have kind of bought over the past month that I haven't shown you guys so um, I have three clothing items both um, two of them are from Reformation and these are both from Farfetch the first one is a real basic, and I'm going to actually try this on to show you because you can't see on the hanger like how pretty this is, but it's a basic um, jumpsuit. I've been in the market for one of these for a really long time. Because I'm quite sure, I find it difficult to get the proportions right where I don't have to get things adjusted. I'm five foot three, in case you're wondering, but this is just perfect. It's strappy, it fits really nicely, it comes with a small material tie around the waist but to be honest I'm gonna wear this with my own belt I really love this I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. it's one of those things that you can dress up or dress down and I absolutely love Reformation as well as a brand um, the few kind of dresses I have bought over the past year or so um, I bought two already from there um, and these are another two so I really like them I like the material they're made out of um, and I love the designs as well next up is a dress that is a little bit more on the dressy side. So this is actually one that I had my eye on in a more kind of out there print, but I just decided to go for the polka dot version because I thought it was a bit more classic. But it's really beautiful, it's one shoulder. I absolutely love this, it's a classic reformation kind of design. Um, it's kind of fitted to the waist and then it has a beautiful flowy skirt with a slit that comes like mid thigh. So it's kind of like covered but sexy at the same time. I'm actually um, out in South Africa at the moment. We're going to a wedding uh, this weekend and I'm gonna wear this for the wedding. So I'm really excited to wear this. I think I'll probably pair it with a little belt, um, some low heels. It's just really comfortable yet it has like a very sophisticated vibe to it as well. So I was really happy to find that um, in the polka dot because I'd previously seen it, like I said, in the print. I'll put a picture here of what it looks like in the print. I do really like it, but I just thought this may be a little bit less of a statement, more of a staple piece for my wardrobe. So I also got that and I love it. And then the third dress is one that I actually bought, um, I was looking at 
when I was doing my order from Farfetch, I was looking at it and I they had it in a different colour. And I ummed and ahed over it, getting it over the um, jumpsuit. I ended up not getting it. And then I went past the shop window when I was in London about three or four weeks ago and they had the green version and I just think it's so beautiful. It's from Rixo. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's all smocked on the front, so it's all elasticated. It fits really nicely. It's got kind of bell sleeves and a full skirt. It is actually quite sheer. Like I have to put a little slip skirt underneath it because it has that like broidery anglaise type material that has holes in it. Um, so you could wear it like over a bikini, but if you want to wear it as a dress, like I definitely need to put a little slip underneath it, but this just fits so well. I actually, um, I think I got the size small, but they do come up small, so if you're in between sizes, definitely go down, because I could have taken extra small in this, but they didn't have one, so um, I absolutely love this, and like I said, they do actually stock this on Farfetch in a different colourway as well, which I'll link to down below, it's really, really pretty, um, but I love the green, and I don't buy enough colour, as you guys will be able to tell from this haul video, most of it is black, all black and white, um, so I just really love this and I think this will be something that's in my wardrobe for years to come as well because it's a very easy to wear, flattering shape, it's a lovely colour, I feel like it's kind of, it's not like a trend piece really, I feel like it will be good to go for a few years at the very least. So that was um, a separate purchase. And then moving on to swimwear, I've actually recently got two new pieces of swimwear, I never buy swimwear, um, I would say maybe one one piece a year, if that, maybe not even every year. Um, but I wanted to get a few new pieces because since I've had River, I definitely tend to go for different shaped swimwear, and that is a big thing. Um, I used to go for like really skimpy tie side bikinis, and now like I definitely feel more comfortable if the lower section of my tummy is covered. So I actually bought a bikini from Mara Hoffman via Farfetch, and I absolutely love it. Mara Hoffman's been a brand that I've admired for a long, long time and I had no idea she was a sustainable brand. Um, so these are the bottoms. They're like the, the big, the big high-waisted bottoms, but they're cut really nicely. I just love the print, it's beautiful floral print, um, and the quality is just stunning. So I got the bottoms um, in a medium and the, the top in a small, although I definitely could have got a medium in the top because it's fairly like, um, non-size because you tie the front bit you can kind of tie it to fit you and adjust the straps to fit you but that's what the top looks like really cute it's definitely got like a vintage vibe to it with the bottoms this was on the more expensive side like i don't think i've ever spent this much on a piece of swimwear before um but the quality is stunning the design is stunning and i feel really comfortable in it so um and it's probably the first time i can say that since having river that i felt like comfortable in a bikini so um that is that and then I also um, got sent a swimsuit from um, Stay Wild which is a sustainable swimwear company that makes all of their designs from um, recycled plastic so whether it's plastic bottles or um, fishing nets it, they really do amazing things and their whole campaign and whole ethos is all around designing super flattering pieces that suit every body shape and they use all sorts of different size and shape models in their campaigns which um is amazing to see because it actually gives you an idea of like what the swimwear is going to look like maybe on somebody that looks like you or somebody that looks different shape they're not all swimwear model type figures which is fantastic because that's how it should be right it's, there shouldn't be a swimwear model type figure um so yeah i love the whole ethos and they're actually set up by um two girls on Instagram, if you guys don't follow them already. Zana is um, a friend of mine who I met years ago when I was releasing my first book, and we recently got in touch again. Anyway, so she sent me this swimsuit, um, and I absolutely love it, and it looks like this. Their designs are all quite sporty, so if you're into like girly, kind of pink, flowery type swimwear, maybe not for you, but they're, if you're into that more kind of like sporty, sleek look, more minimalist, they do a lot of bikinis that are just like plain colours, um, then their designs are super flattering. I don't know if you can see on here, the side panel of this is blue, so it really makes you look like you've got more of a defined waist, and obviously the, the white panel around the waist as well, and then the back is a really pretty, super low cut, crisscross, really gorgeous, really flattering cuts, um, so that's from Stay Wild. 
Again, they're not on Farfetch, um, but you can get them online and they're on Instagram as well. So moving on to a couple of accessories, and these are both um, really quite big purchases and something that I've considered for quite a long time. So first of all is a bag. Um, so this is part of the Stella McCartney Falabella collection, but this is actually slightly different to the originals because I have kind of liked the Falabella, I think you say it Falabella, bags from Stella McCartney for a long time. And they're kind of up my street in the sense that they're a bit kind of have that like slightly edgy vibe with the chains. But the classic ones, I just something about them was slightly too big and didn't just sit right. This one is a slightly different design. It has two extra chains on this bottom flap and then it, it has like a long shoulder strap. So it's actually really, really easy to wear, really comfortable to wear. And it has that like nice edginess that I like, but it's also very slouchy. The quality is gorgeous because it's Stella McCartney, it's all faux suede and the interior is um, like a material. It has separate pocket sections in the middle. I've actually worn this a couple of times and I'm super happy with it. Um, actually doesn't, it doesn't work that well when there's zero in it. I'm gonna put the stuffing back in. I'll put half the stuffing at least back in. I was so happy when I found this because I'd been toying with the idea of getting a Falabella, like I said, but the original design just wasn't quite, something was missing for me and I just absolutely love this. I think it's such a nice twist on the original and a very easy everyday bag as well. So I'll definitely be using that a lot. So the next item is a major splurge item and one that I have wanted for four years since they first came out. Um, it's a pair of boots that, like I said, when they first came out, I was like, I need these. I love these boots so much. I need them in my life. And I didn't end up getting them because they were expensive. And I ended up buying like a cheaper copy, which pretty much fell apart within a year. Then I bought another cheaper copy, which recently have just completely fallen apart because I wear them to death. And I just thought to myself, you know what? Especially I'm doing this collaboration with Farfetch who stock these boots. I've wanted them for so long and I need to buy them and just stop um, buying cheap imitation alternatives that are just kind of filling the hole and buy something that I'm gonna look after that are gonna last me years. And they were kind of a trend piece at the time, so that's another reason why I didn't get them, because I was like, they're super expensive, I feel like they're gonna be a trend and they're gonna like go out of style. However, four years later, I still want them. So I think that's answered my question of like, these boots are gonna be in my wardrobe forever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, props if you've guessed already, um, they are these Givenchy buckle boots with the studs. Literally, I can't believe I'm holding these right now. Like I said, I've wanted these boots for so long and I absolutely adore them. They are just absolutely stunning. The thing I love about these as well, because I've had the copy versions, I know that I wear them and that you can wear them with virtually anything, with skirts, with dresses, with jeans, with leggings, like whatever, and they're just so easy to dress up or down and they're just like exactly my style. I love them so much. I got the classic version, so it's the, um, plain black leather with silver hardware. Um, so they're gonna be a staple addition to my wardrobe. Obviously not from the sustainable section of the Farfetch website, they're Givenchy. Um, but the way I look at it in terms of brands and shopping is like, if you buy something, make it last, make sure you love it, make sure it makes your heart sing and you are gonna get the wear out of it to justify the purchase. So. That is it for my whole video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go and jump in the pool now because I'm so hot. I'm literally melting. Um, don't forget I have that 10% discount code um, if you are thinking of buying any new staples for your wardrobe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.